So whether you're a logo designer, putting together a business collateral package for a client, or designing t-shirts to post onto your Instagram feed, mock-ups are a great way of displaying your work. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike. I'm a graphic designer with just about 20 years of experience in the industry, off and on web design, graphic design, vectors, a bunch of different stuff that I've actually designed. Today we're looking at mock-ups. So for those of you that maybe don't know what a mock-up is, you're just getting started in graphic design, a mock-up is a way for you to take your design, present it to a client or your viewers in a real world example. So you can take a logo and put it onto a sign outside of a business, or you can take your design and put it onto a t-shirt that somebody's wearing. You can also take a business card and a letterhead and uh, other business collateral and mock it up onto actual products to show to the client. I started using mock-ups quite a few years ago. It took my logo approval process with clients from weeks and weeks to literally hours most of the time. So when a client can see what you've designed for them in a real world example, it just makes that decision process a little bit quicker and a little bit easier for them. One piece of advice I can give you, if you're presenting your work to other designers to get critique on a logo or a business card, it's not always best to show them a mock-up. Mock-ups can hide little flaws, so be careful who you're using these with. I know some groups on Facebook with logo designers and other graphic designers prefer that you just give them a flat, basic image for them to review and critique you on. Okay, so enough talk. Let's hop on the computer and I'll show you where you can not only find some mock-ups, but I'll also give you an example of how to utilize them. Most of them work pretty much the exactly the same way. You might find the odd one that's maybe a little bit more difficult to use, but they also normally include instructions on how to work with their files. All right, so before we hop onto the computer, real quick, my normal housekeeping. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Uh, it really does help the channel out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, let me know how I can improve. I'm always looking to make the channel better. So before I get actually into Photoshop and Illustrator and show you how to use one of these mockups, we're gonna start by looking at a couple of websites. I'm gonna show you two free ones where you can get a whole bunch of different free mockups. And then I'm also gonna show you one where you can go and purchase mockups, which of course, like I said before, once you start earning money from this, you're probably gonna to wanna to step up your mockup game um, just so that you don't look like everybody else that's out there that's downloading these free ones. And you'll see there's hundreds of thousands of downloads on each one of these. So for mockup world is our first one. It's just mockupworld.co land on the home page and we're going to go over here to free mockups and then under free mockups you can click on whichever one of the subcategories that you want everything from apple watches down to animated mockups i'm going to go ahead and click on let's go to signs and billboards now signs and billboards is actually one of the examples that i'm going to use today to show you guys how to use a mockup so if we scroll through the list you can see there are Many different variations on this, everything from food truck mock-ups to a poster in the dining room. Some of these are really well done where you can see like here by going in and changing this one, that little light is gonna be in front of whatever you decide to mock up in the back there. You can click through down at the bottom, look at various mock-ups, find the one that you want. You can also do a search. So say that you're looking for posters only or you're only looking for logo mock-ups. You go ahead and we'll click in this box here and let's go say the logo. You're going to search the entire site. And then it's going to pull up everything that's to do with logos. So you can see various ways of actually presenting logos. So like I said, this is a great way to present logos to your clients when you're sending them over. Some of these not so much. I mean, this mountain one I probably wouldn't use, uh, but let's say this one, right? It, it looks like a hanging sign on the wall. I always tried to find something that was useful for the client. So I think about the client that I'm actually talking with. So let's say that they were a golf pro that we were doing a logo for. Something like a baseball cap or a cap like this would be great to send over to that client with their logo on it because chances are it's something that they're actually going to use in real life or they're gonna want their logo on it. So our second site is Graphic Burger and this is just graphicburger.com. And again, these are all freebies on this one. If you just hover over mockups here, it's just a single link, you can click on that 
and you'll find all sorts of mock-ups here as well. Now these ones, they don't have them split into categories. So if you are looking for something specific, I do recommend using the search function on Graphic Burger rather than just coming in and scrolling through the various options. But I mean, everything from wrapping paper to, uh, I mean, here's an apron, a motorcycle helmet, all kinds of different stuff. I like the rubber stamp ones. I'm seeing a lot of these come out now. So they're pretty cool. All right, our third site before we get into actually showing you how this works is Creative Market. Now, for those of you that maybe don't know where you're new to the graphic design game, Creative Market is a place for graphic designers and creators to go and actually sell their wares. So you get everything from fonts to mock-ups to Photoshop actions, website templates, uh, all kinds of different stuff that you can find here. If we go up to templates and then down to mockups, and you can see this is a new category. And under mockups, we can get so many different things available through these guys. Now, again, these ones aren't free, so you are going to look at having to spend some money on these ones, but it, they come in a wide range of pricing. So, I mean, 100 logo mockups for $21. Right, 34 poster mockups for $18. So some of the pricing is very, very reasonable. Um, other ones, I mean, the, the wedding scene, $71. I'm sure somebody has a really great use for that and $71 for them isn't bad. For me, probably not so much because I don't do a whole bunch of wedding stuff. Logo pin generator, this one's pretty cool. Kind of gives you that enamel pin look. So as you can see, just so many different uses and so many different mock-ups that you can find to be able to take your designs to the next level when you're sending them over to the client. All right, let's hop into Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So this is the logo that we're actually gonna use. This is something that I did. Uh, if you're not following me on LinkedIn or if you're not connected with me on LinkedIn, please go ahead, search for Mike Pickett. You'll be able to find me on there. You should see my photo. Same as the little thumbnail that I've got on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and connect with me. I put stuff like this on LinkedIn as well. I've got some articles and stuff coming out in the next little while. Um, this one was just sort of an exploration for me to show that that W shape with the little sort of tent image here. I've got four different versions of this logo. But so anyways, okay. We're gonna take this and we're gonna mock it up over onto this design. Thought they kind of fit together, right? Kind of a, a camping outlet store, but maybe a little bit higher end with a, a really fancy wood sign out front. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got my design, everything's all been lined up. I'm happy with the layout, the flat here, this lockup, it's where I'm at and I'm ready to send this over to the client, let them have a look at it. Now I always include this version of it too. I don't just send over the mockup. I wanna show them, look, this is what it looks like flat. So this is what it's gonna look like if you're just printing it out on paper or you've got it hanging on your wall. But now I'm gonna show you exactly what that would look like if you had it hanging on your wall. So I'm gonna highlight the design and just Command C or I can go up to Edit and Copy. We're just gonna copy the design. Now it's on the clipboard, we're gonna go back over to Photoshop. Now inside of Photoshop, and again, I'm gonna say 90% of the mockups are gonna work this way. Over here in your Layers palette, now if you don't see the layers, you can just go up to Window and Layers or hit F7 on your keyboard and you should be able to see this. You're always gonna see a layer, something like this one. Your logo here, uh, it might say, change this layer or there's a bunch of different things that people can name it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna double click right on the thumbnail. So don't double click on the layer, but go over to the little thumbnail, double click on it. And that's gonna open up a secondary tab and you'll see that it's got this logo1.psb. This is where we're gonna paste in that logo we pulled from Illustrator. So I'm either gonna go up to edit and paste or paste special and paste in place. Either one of those will work or I can go command V or command shift V. So I'm just gonna go command V and here we're gonna use smart object. Smart object, we always pull in a smart object when we're doing these mockups. If we're pulling something from Illustrator, if you're just pulling an image from another Photoshop tab, you can use pixels. I prefer smart objects for those as well though is because it's just a better quality layer. So I've got my smart object and you can see it's all pasted over top here and we now have two layers over here and you see this says replace me, which is fine. So I'm gonna double click on this to place it and then I'm just gonna go over here, click on this replace me layer and either hit delete on your keyboard or click the trash can. 
So now that we have this, you can tell by the little asterisk here that it hasn't been saved yet. So all I'm going to do is just Command S on my keyboard, and that's now saved it. And if we click back here on our main tab, we've now replaced it with the logo that we want to send over to our client. All right, so that's it for this one, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Now I got to get back to work and get my next Instagram piece out there. I will see you in the next one. Now get out there and design something. Let me know what you think about my endings. Does the get out there and design something actually motivate you to do anything? Are you even seeing the endings? Did you make it this far? Hope you did. If you didn't, you won't be seeing this, so I don't know how you're going to respond to letting me know that you didn't see it. But that's okay.